All right, everybody, it's October 2022. Let's do a layout update. Everybody, I'm Go VR Go Home. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are doing the monthly layout update, and uh, this is for October. So I've got a few things that are new. You're gonna see around the layout, and I'll take you all through it. Uh, first off, let's start here. I got a whole bunch of these shelves up, as you can now see, and they are filled with rolling stock. Mostly passenger stuff, uh, and uh, also trackside Mike gave me some spare track, so I did put it on here, but it's not glued down. It's just uh, it's there holding those because I, I still want to paint these. But uh, until I do that, uh, they can just sit on there. Not all of them have track. I just had enough to do uh, the uh, one, two, three, four. So uh, there's a couple that don't have any any track yet which is fine i'll get more track <laughs> no real changes here with the, the lumber mill and everything is still running really really well over here but you can kind of see <laughs> when i do it like this anyways it almost looks like a picture frame which this is kind of roughly what i was going for and how i'm going to do it all the way around and uh it basically once I got that fascia up and painted it black, it's starting to make the whole thing look just like a picture frame. Unfortunately, that's where it stops. <laughs> and there's a little bit on the other side here, but that's that's roughly the look that I'm going for here. Uh, you can kind of see I put a piece across here as well, across the top. And that only goes so far, but just kind of doing it piece by piece here some of it's curved some of it is just flat up against it so I'm kind of chipping away at it and doing different little things here and there just to kind of fill in where I need to and you'll notice obviously I'm doing a bit more scenery work along here as well just kind of going through all the stuff on the bottom level that I might have missed uh, straightening up a couple areas or changing a few things but mostly running trains as you can see I've got a couple of trains out here uh, this um, this O&R train here my youngest was actually running earlier and he was taking the gondolas all throughout the layout a lot of these are weathered uh, I've weathered and graffitied a lot of them myself and there's still a lot more to go but uh it's something that i've been working on a lot uh recently you can even see some of the box cars in the back there they're uh, dirty and uh like that grain car and box car and a couple of other cars throughout as well there's been absolutely zero change with the helix if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> But uh, something like this up here, I'll show you the downtown in a second, but um, yeah, that's all still like that. And I uh, got, you know, a few cars spread out throughout. But I'm starting to work on this section as well. This is going to be the downtown. And uh, you can see I've already got a couple of buildings. If you guys watch the Sunday brunch kit builds, you'll have seen me working on some of these and they are not done at all but uh they are a work in progress so uh you can kind of see this is this is kind of the view here and when you're uh seeing the trains go across the back there it looks really neat uh there just has to be way more buildings added of course 
and uh, they're gonna come like right across here and, and down. And uh, of course there's gonna be more along here. I did change this out, but not in the sense where it looks like anything. I just took that piece of foam out and there was like a cascading foam piece that came down. I'm gonna change all that. Um, yeah. And of course I added this building here I did change it out because the uh, the bakery was up here, or the Pillsbury Bakery, or whatever. I moved that. But uh, I ended up putting this building here, which I do need to finish painting uh, eventually. Uh, and uh, yeah, I still got the uh, ONR cars there though. So there's that. Looking up a little bit, you'll notice I've got my Go Via or Go Home sign right there, right in the middle. It's probably the first thing you're going to see when you walk into the train room. And it kind of matches with the skirt, which I'm uh, very happy about. Uh, the whole red, black, and white thing is kind of like my favorite color scheme. So it works. It works. And uh, there's going to be the whole how-to and all the information as to how to install that or to buy your own and where to get it from. Uh, just watch for keeping track at the end of the month, uh, which should be the last Thursday of the month, 7 o'clock. Keeping track. Uh, and yeah, I show you the how I do all this and I how I make my lines super, super tight. So uh, yeah, that's kind of mint. <laughs> I actually did a pretty good job on that. I'm not going to lie. It, uh, yeah, I was kind of worried about that. Looking above that though, you'll see I've got ballast and greenery and, uh, there's a road that goes across the tracks. This scene here is really, really coming together. Uh, I couldn't be happier because, uh, yeah, it just, you know, it's one of those things where I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off and then I did. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> so pretty happy about that. And uh, you'll notice in the background there, got my telephone poles and the guardrail. Uh, a couple of the strings did fall and they're ridiculous to try to <laughs> glue back on. So I have to wait and get some quick drying stuff from Brandon when he comes by. Uh, and you'll notice I've got some ballast for the roadside there. And I did that all the way down it does still need to be glued, but once it is, uh, I'll probably do static grass all over that. Uh, I did put some plaster in the bottom there just to make sure everything was sealed up nice. So the next thing I'll do is uh, paint it and then I'll be able to add water eventually. This road here is pretty cool. Uh, it goes cross track and I have absolutely no issues with trains going through here. And, uh, yeah, it completes that more or less. And I just need to get some crossing cross bucks or some crossing signal, something to make it uh, look a little bit more realistic. And then I just have a little bit left here to do and fill in so that uh, I can finish this bridge scene here. Here's that bridge from another angle, just kind of taking a look. And uh, I still got to finish all this. It is basically topped off and I just got to get that grass to the edge. I think I might have to do a different layer, a couple of different layers of grass on here and then I'll be able to complete the, uh, the ballast work just like this ballast here. And I'm going to bring that ballast right up to the edge here and I'll do the same thing with this side. I do have to get more plaster cloth to finish this off and then I'll do that background back there. But uh, this is more or less how I left this just for now because uh, I really wanted to get this entire front section done first. Taking a look here, now that I've finished that side more or less, I can start moving this way. Uh, you can obviously see that the um, fascia goes right around and it does mostly go to the back here. You can see where it stops. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of filling it in as I go. And I do have to finish this part here and then I'll decorate this just like how this is here. And this industry, which is my paper mill, just got random stuff sitting there in the 
tracks for now, but that's okay. Uh, I got to do a lot of work in this area, and then most of that gets ballasted. So uh, quite a bit of work to do still uh, to really pull this together and make this look awesome. But, you know, it takes time and, and whatnot to get these things done. So uh, this will probably be one of the next things I work on just to kind of complete this area here. And obviously, if this is the first thing you see when you come in, I kind of want to make it look presentable, right? But when we go along here, you can see that I've kind of done a bit more work and I even got my power switches here, which power these tracks. They're in the uh, fascia. These all light up. I do have to finish painting this, but I have to disconnect all this <laughs> in order to paint it. So I haven't done that. That has dust all over it. That's annoying. Oh, well. And then, of course, I'm going to finish this area here as well as soon as I figure out what's going here. Uh, and then I'll be able to fill that in, get the uh, fascia going around that. Same thing with down here. Once I get that done, I can put the fascia piece right around and uh, complete that as well. And, of course, I'll need to finish back in here, this whole area, uh, this here, kind of cap this off, uh, and then finish painting the track coming through here as well, making sure everything's powered and hooked up and, and works, more or less. I mean, trains can go up and through here, no problem, but uh, I want to make sure that this area here is good too. So that brings us to the top level the top level of the layout uh the dumping ground if you will <laughs> i've got my entire ethanol plant up here which this is where it's gonna go uh that's what i've decided on i just have to raise this ground here uh, i think i'm gonna have bubs work out a track plan for me which is gonna come off of this switch over here you can kind of see that switch and it's going to go right along here, raised up over this track and it's going to go that way. I'm hoping for a Y or a diamond of some sort and uh, then at least four or five tracks that I can store stuff on and, you know, shunt stuff around. Uh, I also found this piece of foam here, which could be helpful uh, for bringing in the second track here because uh, I still have to run this track. It does start way down here at the switch. This was the original main line, but I added that switch. So now it goes over that bridge, the, the bridge on the right. So I just got to continue this bridge on the left here, right around and down right to there. There's the switch there. Before I let you go, just to kind of wrap things up here, uh, we're going to look at a couple of clips from today when I was running trains with my youngest uh, Riker. And he was having a blast learning how to use Y throttle. So he was basically controlling the trains with his phone. So I'm going to leave you with some of those clips now. I'm Go Vera Go Home. Thanks for watching. But I've got a train to catch. Okay, go to 35. It's just slowing down. It's show, show, show me the, the controller. Go up a little higher. A little bit. So 40? 
40 up. It's still going slow. Oh well, yeah, this is pulling a lot of cars up that. Oh wait a second. Oh, I, oh, I know. That's because the other train's coming. So that's why I don't Is it coming up? Yep. Stop holding. And we're going to you way up. All the way up there to side? Mm-hmm. Well, where, where do I go now? He's going to come off the helix onto the, the second level there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Probably. I'm just gonna 